Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, guys. I know I am. I'm actually gonna be going live today with my son on Fortnite Battle Royale, which I think a lot of you guys would very much enjoy. If you do want to actually be live and tune in for that of me playing Fortnite with my son, make sure to go into the description below and there will be a Facebook page. Click on that link, like the page and also follow it. And then eventually when I do go live, you will see the notification. You'll get to see my face and also my son will be on the stream too, which will be pretty, pretty funny. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, what we're actually going to be doing is taking a look at a brand new item. Well, I say brand new, but it's actually an old item that is coming back to Fortnite Battle Royale within the next couple of weeks. This is big news because this is actually one of the only items that has been taken away and brought back to Fortnite so far in this game. And I mean like taken back like, you know, this, this item's been gone for so long that I never thought that it would return. I thought there was no need for it, but apparently... It is going to happen, so very exciting stuff indeed, uh, but before we do actually get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like, and also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite videos, just like this one right here. And also, I do know that a lot of you guys are asking about the V-Bucks giveaway that went on through April, that will be up sometime on the Facebook live stream. I'll be announcing who actually won that as soon as Seven tells me uh, exactly who actually won the giveaway themselves. There's four winners of, I believe, a lot of V-Bucks. I can't remember the exact amount, but it was a lot of V-Bucks anyway. Uh, but anyway, like I said, let's get into talking about today's video. So a lot of you guys may be thinking, you know, what actually is this item? Well, judging by the thumbnail, you guys should know already that is going to be the Bounce Pad. That was the official name for it back in the day. It was called the Bounce Pad. And this was before the Launch Pad was actually brought into Fortnite Battle Royale. Basically, what would happen is that if you ran at it from a certain angle, whichever way you was running towards, it would kind of launch you that way. It wouldn't launch you up in the air like the launch pad does. It would actually bounce you to the opposite direction that you was actually running. And um, it was very interesting. I mean, this was very early on Fortnite Battle Royale. I mean, I never even got to get one of these things. I mean, I played this game. I think it was the first day it ever went free. I played the game and I never found one of them. So I've, I've never had any experience with them. But it seems like these are going to be coming back and they're going to be a little bit better than ever before. So if you do actually look on screen right now, you will see that there is a leaked tweet or just a tweet of this leaked information from a very, very awesome and uh, I guess he's very highly likely, he's, he's very good at leaking basically, that's what I'm trying to say, I mean he's normally always right and uh, this is the dude his name is two epic buddies so thank you very much two epic buddies for leaking this but as you can see here he says the bounce pad is coming back can be placed on walls roofs and the floor it also boosts you when you hit it with the shopping cards so yeah that is right guys the bounce pad is coming back and it's got a little bit more of an addition to it i mean originally as far as i believe you were only able to actually place it onto the floor and then launch about on it but now it seems like you're going to be able to ah! place it on the Okay, so sorry about that, my son actually came upstairs, he had a lollipop and everything like that. But uh, like I was saying, you know, back in the past, when this was first introduced, you were only able to actually place it onto the floor. And as far as I believe, that was all you could do. But it seems like now, walls and roofs are actually going to be a thing. I personally don't know how that's going to work. I mean, how is... <laughs> I just can't think of it, personally. I just don't understand how exactly, like, you can place something on a wall and then you can boost across it. I, I'm, I don't know. If you guys have an idea of how that may work, I mean, maybe it's something like Call of Duty, the way you can wall run and everything. Maybe with the bounce pads on the walls, you can actually, like, run at a wall and kind of wall run. I mean, not necessarily actually wall run, but maybe, you know, if you're close to the wall, it'll bounce you as if you was wall running, you know? Uh, but other than that, the roofs, I don't understand how that's going to happen. But, you know, I'm very excited about it. I want to see how that'll work. Um, other than that... I think that the main reason that this thing has been introduced back into the game is the whole fact of that we now have shopping carts and uh, I know for a fact that me, once I actually got a shopping cart and found a launch pad, one of the first things I actually tried was can you actually use a launch pad whilst holding on to a shopping cart and unfortunately when I tried it, it just didn't work. I mean, there's no way that this thing works with them at, at all. And it's it's pretty disappointing, to be honest. So I'm actually very happy that they've introduced these back into the game. I've wanted to see them for a whole, like a long time now. I've genuinely wanted these back. I mean, 
I don't know, it's just something about going hole forward, you know, I mean, you go really far with these things too. I mean, for a dudes with jump pads, you go up in the air, but with these things, you can't use your glider and it boosts you forwards or sideways, whichever way you're kind of wanting to go. So I'm very excited about it, especially with the whole, you know, shopping cart thing and everything. I mean, now we're getting the, I guess it's the playground LTM soon. I guess that this will be very, very good for making like little racetracks with your friends and everything. I am definitely, definitely really happy about it. And I'm really excited the fact that they've brought it back now because, you know, this could actually mean that in a couple of months time, maybe they've refined the electric wall traps. I don't know. I mean, there's one thing about Fortnite that I really dislike and that is that there's only actually one trap that you can get in the whole game. And I don't know, I know that the electric wall zapper trapper thing was very glitchy and, you know, if people heard the, like, kind of zapping noise, they wouldn't go near it because obviously, yeah, they knew that they were going to get zapped. Like, I'm hoping that maybe in the future, the Fortnite developers can actually, like, kind of work on that and kind of refine it a little bit better to make it work in the game because... Like I said, you know, I'm just a little bit tired of the same old traps in the game and uh, it's actually been leaked that, you know, we might actually be getting a sentry tur turret kind of trap where you can put on ceilings, walls and everything where it'll basically like shoot you for like 5 HP each shot or something, you know? Uh, so it is very interesting and uh, yeah, this can hopefully mean that Epic are up to a lot of kind of goods, I guess. Like they want to bring stuff back and they're finding new uses for old things. Uh, so you never know, maybe the heat-seeking rocket will actually come back. You never know, that would be pretty weird, but you know, I guess it'd be pre pretty cool. Like, imagine having like a rocket ride, but like using the actual rocket itself. Like, so for example, like rocket riding the shopping cart. Like, that would be insane. I doubt it would work, but still, you know, this is what the playground mode is going to be for, like, to test things out like that. And, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm very excited. Tell me what you think about this all in the comment section below, guys. I would really love to know. And, uh, yeah, just gonna bring it back uh, pretty much to what I said at the start of the video. I am gonna be going live today. It's gonna be in around about... Oh, jeez, I don't even know if I've, I've like... Oh, I haven't even thought this through because basically, like, I was going to upload this video after I've live streamed, and clearly I can't do that now. Uh, so I guess what I'm actually going to do is go live within the next hour or two. So please, guys, make sure to go into that link in the description, click on that Facebook page, and uh, like it and follow it, please. You will not regret it. I mean, I'm going to be doing a live streaming, and also I will play with fans too, if that's what you guys would really want. And, you know, it just kind of helped me out at the minute. I'm going through a little bit of a difficult time in my life. Big changes are coming, and uh, I need all the support that I could possibly get right now. So that would be really, really cool if you guys could actually do that for me. I would, I would appreciate it a whole lot. And uh, not only that, but in that live stream, I will most likely be doing a little tiny giveaway of V-Bucks. It'll only be around about, like, what, £15 worth or, like, $20 worth. So it's nothing too big, but, you know, one person from that stream will most likely be going away with some V-Bucks if they actually have PayPal or another source of a kind of a transaction, kind of, like, website where I can pay them the money so that they can actually buy the V-Bucks themselves. Uh, but anyway, I'm kind of ranting on now. I would like to say thank you very much for watching today's video. Enjoy the gameplay in the background, guys. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. All see ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.